How to know your soulmate. Crash course. Believe in a God, a creator, a loving parent. Believe that God is male and female, both mother and father, yet they have a very strong connection. They are, in a sense, one. You, then, as a child of God, are either male or female, and therefore there is another half of you, your other half, that you have a very strong connection to, is your eternal companion. So, how to find out who is your soulmate? <clears throat> Ultimately, the way I understood who my soulmate was, was first, Mother God showed me who my soulmate was. So I had a born again moment, baptism of fire. It was like in God. I was able to reproduce it. I was starting learning from God. At that time, I didn't know if it was mother or father, but that was actually father at the beginning. And then I started to understand that I'm in Mother. And I started to get connections with Mother. I was sorting out issues I had with the opposite sex. I had a lot of stuff against them that I'd built up over my life. And um, I was being shown that that was wrong and I was being shown what's correct. And I was heard about the soulmate stuff, it really connected with me. I was thinking, is it this girl? Is it this girl? And God showed me who it was. I had had this meditation session where I was uh, understanding some of the stuff about lust and how that was a wrong thing. And then into my mind came who I thought my soulmate was at the time. And God was still showing me it was wrong to think that way of her. So then I was confused and I was sort of like, oh, is she not my soulmate then? And I got confirmation of that. And then I was like, well then who is it? And then God saw me a little vision of my soulmate just walking along the pavement. And I was like, wow. And in a sense, that's who I'd wanted it to be as well. Although circumstances at the time, I just wasn't conducive. <laughs> like, she lived far away. I hadn't had much to do with her over the years. Da, 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 da. Okay. But anyway, so that was one bit. And even just recently, so that was about three years ago. And even just recently, I was, I had to question that because I, some of the feelings I was dealing with, but that has held firm. Now, the other thing, and it's what's been happening over the last year, which makes me know that this is my soulmate, is times in meditation where I've felt connection with her, they've been getting... I haven't had a whole lot of control over that. That's sometimes it's just, I don't know how it's going to be sort of thing. And sometimes they've just happened. But what's been, what's happened over the last year or so is I've had some very, very deep connections. So, first of all, you know, I've had to be able to feel my soul, to be my soul, to be my four billion year old soul. Once I'm feeling that I'm my soul, it's then when I can feel the connection from my soulmate or God. And 
I try I don't try and force what it is and I'll sit down and meditate and sometimes it's a soulmate thing coming through sometimes it's a God thing sometimes I am trying to direct it towards either God or soulmate or something else entirely somebody else so I can feel connections so I can feel connections with another person as well like you're all my brothers and sisters um, females feel different from males um, obviously people I know and I'm close to I can I can get more of a feel of them and how they are and stuff like that usually I just wait for things like that to come to me most of the time now with God I've had some incredibly strong feelings with God I've had to be brave and courageous and go for it and trust and faith and everything right with the soulmate it's strong it's it's a stronger connection than the one with God. And the deepness of some of the feelings I've had are just, yeah, huge. So, basically, that's it. To know your soulmate, you've got a very strong connection there. Now, if you've got issues with the opposite sex... It could actually be quite an unpleasant connection. So those things, these all things need to be sorted out. Your relationship with God and the opposite sex. and these, But what I'm saying is the opposite sex God will show you who your soulmate is. So in a sense I'm slightly trying now because my soulmate, <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah, she's not down with this. She's not down with it. She's in denial, you know, whatever, right? But when I, when I'd sort of recently, when I'd given up kind of trying to connect with her again too much, when I was just connecting to God, I noticed when I was connecting to Father God, she was then, I was then getting something from her. So I'm a little bit trying to... <laughs> Bring in Father God to help her see who her soulmate is. Um, yeah, So you'll know through the deepness of the connections, the strength of it, who your soulmate is. And it's very, also, it's very non-sexual. It can be sexual, and when it is, it's bloody amazing. Um, but there really is... You know, sex is just the dot on the eyes in the relationship. It's, um, there's so much more to it. And that's another way of seeing that this is your soulmate because the sex isn't that big a deal. There's so much more interesting feelings going on. Um, you know... Most likely you will have met your soulmate in your life. And most likely at a young age. Now, if you're the sort of person who's had a life where you, say, moved countries a lot or something like that. And, you know, never settled down in one particular space. You know, it's possible that you... It, it wasn't possible for you and your soulmate to meet at a young age and get some sort of bond going before you went your separate ways or whatever. Because I think in these, in today's world, um, perhaps in the past people were more likely to marry their soulmate because their lives, you know, they were born in a village, brought up in a village and had plenty of time then to notice these you know, particularly strong feeling with one person, they both would have felt it, they both wanted to be together. You know, nowadays we're sort of much more moving around and, and the, you know, in towns and cities there's a lot more people. Um, if you've got issues with the opposite sex, it can actually cause you to be, to want to be away from your soulmate because it's, it's, uh, it's un there's something unpleasant there, it's, it's like triggering. Whereas, you know, you find someone who's got the same uh, errors and thinking about men and women's roles, you know, 
you know, then they might more like they're more likely to get together. But if we look at you know relationships, the love in relationships is is rare. You know, um, there's usually one. You know, usually one is sort of more like desirable than the other but that you know that that can change and stuff like that and they're playing petty games with each other and eventually you know all the love just dries up and and they and they actually really start hating their partner you know and some of them actually murder their partners and because you know breaking up wasn't the thing to do and so you know it causes a lot of issues and it's just um, a big area of of our lives where we could increase the love so much if people were with their soulmates because you know love begets love and it would just it just create more and more love um, whereas we've kind of got the opposite going on in a lot of cases and uh, yeah and uh, so I say I think I think you know, so the the one, your soulmate, the person, if you look back in your life and people you've met and been with or not been with or been friends with and, or just, you know, there was something different about them, that person just stands out. It's just, there's just something that puts them apart from everybody else. It's like, you know, think of past girlfriends and similarities you know all had that it was always like that you know it was like three months it was amazing the next year was all right and then got a bit good again but then sort of do you know what I mean it's just you know when they say oh we have to work at it we have to work at a relationship you shouldn't have to work at a relationship it shouldn't be work you know may have problems and you have to overcome the odd problems but the majority of it shouldn't be work so being with someone you should be you know doubling the joy in your life you know I've been single for the past 10 years coming on 11 and um, you know there's, there's there's plenty of joy I can see if I get together with someone and they're not the right one it's just, going to go downhill. I don't, I don't want that. If I want to get together with someone, I want it to be doubly good and I get little senses of of it being possible that is going to happen in my lifetime and I can sort of see when I get little sort of glimpses of to how it could be, I, I know it's going to be awesome. So... I mean, that's, that could be a huge thing for the world. It could really be good. Okay, so that's how to find your soulmate. Hope it helps. Ciao.